Adobe has just released their Adobe Premiere Pro program to compete with CapCut for smartphone users. So if you're an iPhone user, then you can download Adobe Premiere Pro right away from the App Store and then you can install it. So if you're an Android user, then you have to wait for a while because they are working on that and soon they will release an Android version. First, open Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll today show you how you can use Premiere Pro and give you a interface introduction. So here is the home screen. There is a logo and then this is the button where you can purchase their subscription. Currently, they are offering generative AI subscription. So if you want to generate image or video, then you have to pay the subscription fee from here. But don't worry, you can use it for free just by downloading it and just signing in with your Adobe account. So I'll just close it. Next to that, there is a button to give the feedback and help. Next to that, there is a button for your account. You can sign in or sign out from here. Next to that, the settings button. You can set the preference and then you can see the credits available. I've been using my existing Adobe account that I use for my computer. I have signed in using that account. So this is the generative credit by default you are getting. And then you can just send user information. So this is the basic preference from here. Uh, from the settings button next to that you can start a new project from the photos or videos from your photos you can just click here and then select the videos or photos that you want to use and from the new from files you can import files from your files browser you can select any files then you can start editing and then you can make a new project and you can start from scratch so first you are not importing anything but eventually when you are making the project you can import it from the photos or you can put it from the files and then you can extract audio from a video file and then you can make caption from your existing video that you have already made you can generate image you can just describe what you want then it will generate image and then you can generate video from your existing image if you select an image then you can write the prompt and generate a video out of it and then you can expand any image that we are getting from photoshop the exact same thing that you can do from your premiere pro right away from a smartphone so we'll start from our photo library so select the video clips that you want to use so i'll just select some clips so these are the clips that i want to use for my video then if i click on next it will make a new project this is basically the similar interface that we get with CapCut very similar you can scroll just by clicking and swapping like that you can play it back from here then if you want to go by one frame then you can click on this button it will skip by one frame if you want to go to the next clip you can click this button if you want to go to the previous clip you can click on this button you can adjust the size of your preview screen and timeline by clicking and swapping this button on the top you can click on the home button to return to your home screen and then there is a button to set the aspect ratio click here to set your aspect ratio suppose you want to have 3 by 4 aspect ratio you can just click here it will make the aspect ratio 3 by 4 if you don't like it you can just cross here and then you can undo it from here it will go to the previous state then you can make the preview screen full screen by clicking here on this button again if you click here you can go to the previous state here is a button to buy the subscription there is a button to export the file we'll see it later so first let's see how you can trim or cut the clips so here if i play it back i don't want the whole thing i can just zoom it like that and then i can go where i want to trim it so once I go there, I can select the clip and then you'll see there is a point. You can just click and drag it here to trim that part. Similarly, if you want to trim something from the beginning, you can click and then you can trim it just like that. So like that, we'll have our desired clip length. If I play it back again from here, I want to start. From this portion so once I go to that point I can select it and then I can click and drag it to trim this portion but 
for this clip i want to split it so if i click on split i can make two different part of this clip i want to delete the first section by selecting that one and then if i press on delete i can delete that portion so this is the final thing now i want to trim it here again i can just split and then i can delete it again i want to trim it here trim it there so i'll just skip the trimming part and then i'll show you how you can do the rest of the thing so my trimming part has done now i can show you the other things so suppose you want to duplicate a clip how you can do that you can click here and then you can click on duplicate then it will make a same version of that clip now if you want to take this one to another track what you can do you can just click on move up so it will take that clip on the top track so now we have two different track right again you can delete it from here suppose you want to add a v-roll here on this section how you can do that so what you can do you can click here on this video and image section and then you can click on photo library if you want to input it from photo library there are several options you can download it from adobe stock you can generate image you can generate sticker you can generate video from image and then you can use the files app to import the file right so i will use the photo library and from here if i select a clip that i want to import i can do that suppose i want to import this one so i can just select this one and then next it will input that clip here now if i want to take it to the second track or track two then i can just click on move up and then i can press and move it to position it in the middle as a v-roll right so if i play it back so you can see we can add v-rolls now i can just delete it suppose you want to change the position of a clip you can press and hold and then you can swap the position or where you want to place this clip just click and drag it and then you can place it there and if you select a clip you can do different things like you can change the color you can change this speed suppose when i am selecting this one there is a section where i can manipulate this clip delete then duplicate i can replace this clip i can move it up i can change the volume from here I can use the audio fade from here so if i want to have a fade in or fade out effect i can do that then i can use adobe enhance speech that is the adobe ai generated audio enhancing tool you can use it from here then you can extract audio if you click here then the audio will be separated and then again if i go here and show you the rest of the thing you can remove background of an image then you can use different looks there are several preset that you can use then you can adjust manually the settings like the exposure the contrast highlights shadow white blacks or you can go here and manipulate the colors if you want to change the temperature you can do it from here and then if you just double tap it will reset the slider you can change the tint vibrance saturation then from the mix you can change so many things like mid-tones highlights global so eventually the color grading i mean lumetri effect that you are getting in adobe premiere pro the same settings are available here you can add vignetting you can add grains so if you want to add grains you can just take the slider like that you can add grains so i will not do that and then you can change the opacity if you want to change the speed you can do that from here but currently you cannot do precise speed ramping from here there isn't any curve and then reverse if you want to change the clip then this is a reverse clip now it's a reverse clip so you can do that from here too so i'll undo that you can freeze frame and then you can extend it then fill flip if you want to flip the clip you can do that too you can flip it vertically also then background so if the aspect ratio is not filling the whole screen you can use a background 
and from animation you can add intro i mean in animation and out animation suppose i want to add the slide in animation and then i want to slide out so what will happen if i play it back it's sliding in and sliding out so you can do that too i'll not do that for this video i'll just keep it basic now after trimming it up or doing the color grading maybe you want to add some music so here is the music and audio button you can click here then you can use soundtrack voiceover sound effect generate sound effect extract audio or your music or you can import it from your files so there are a lot of tracks that you can use directly from the app that is adobe providing so if you click here you'll see a lot of audio track and these are currently free to use so you can use that for your videos so if i play back this one not this one so if i like it i can just press here to import it so the audio is downloading and it's being imported so if i play it back the music is playing back with my video now if i select the audio track then i can change the volume of the audio so i can just change this to maybe 17 percent and again there is the option if you select the audio clip if you go here and then you will see license code you can save this license code so that if there is any copyright strike you can use this license code to respond to that copyright claims and it will release that claim so um, it's it's currently a great news for the premiere pro user you can use the musics for free so that's the music section and again from here you can add audio fit and whatnot and after doing all the things you can make titles and captions for this video i don't need captions i'll show you separately after doing all the settings you can just click on export and then you can select your desired settings like 1080p 30 or 60 frame per second or whatnot and then quality high and then if you click export it will export that video on your photos album and there you can upload it directly to your desired social media platform so it's a great thing for us we can use premiere pro features directly from our video one more thing if you want you can continue editing this project in adobe premiere pro computer version so if you click here on this premiere pro desktop beta then you can send the project to your premiere pro desktop uh, application so it will upload the file to your adobe account and there you can just download the project using adobe premiere pro so you can do the basic trimming and then you can continue editing in adobe premiere pro computer version again i'll show you how you can make captions so if i go here blank project then i can import a video from my photo library so this video has voice so if i play it back does your camera capture the thing in front of you so i can make captions for this clip to make captions i can click here title and captions and from here i want to make captions and from there I can select all speech then replace existing caption if there is any captions and then if i click on create captions it will give me this screen then i can click on allow it will um, take some time depending on the video or depending on the duration of your audio and then it will make the captions now i can play it Does back your camera captured the thing in front of you be very precise Done. To animate any caption you can select a caption and then edit caption you can do the typos if there is any and then again select it and then go to style from here you can select different style for your captions like if i want to select this one the karaoke one i can do that and then if i close it and if i play it back does your camera capture the thing in front of you very precise does it tell the truth if i answer it in one word that's cool way to make captions for a video but currently i cannot edit how long the wording i want and how i want the lining i cannot make it one line single line and then i cannot automatically decide how long the caption per 
line will be i mean how much character will be if i want to do that i have to manually split it and then i have to delete it so that will take a lot of time if i do it manually so for now it's great you can use it for free and you can also make the captions so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing or want to learn about different video gear accessories then you can subscribe to this channel to get more like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye